know how to sing. Want to dance with somebody? A new biopic remembering the late American singer and actress Whitney Houston. To me, it was a series of love stories, um, and I, I think that that's a beautiful way to look at at um, a bio biography. You know, like the loves who this person loved, and uh, you know, that's a way to tell the story. So you're always looking for a lens through which to to find. Um, your way into a story. And, and for me, it was these a series of love stories um, interconnected, sometimes um, sometimes going on at the same time. Um, some were problematic and some were, um, were, were absolutely beautiful. The film is meant to be a music-filled celebration and a kind of corrective to others telling Houston's story. Whitney Elizabeth Houston. But yeah, I mean, I was I was very daunted by just trying to get it right and trying to um, get my point across, and and trying to be deeply respectful and loving and really tribute her, and have the the audience take a joyous ride, um, without shying away from her trouble. So so there was a lot going on. Wait, God, what? It's on. It's on. Listen. Wait, 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 wait. Naomi Aki is the star in this one portraying such a beloved music icon. Yeah, I just I just had to learn uh, learn how to get really good at stress management very quickly. <laughs> um, it was just a part and parcel. And, you know, I think in general terms, you know, filming can be quite stressful sometimes, but this was personal. Um, and I couldn't help but take some of these... Um, these moments in her life personally because I you know I've loved her for a very long time too and then knowing that uh, everyone I know has loved her too was you know but at, at a certain point you just have to forget about that and, and focus on the job um, and the job at hand maybe maybe it's gotta have a hook the hook yeah the film shows Houston's accent from New Jersey choir girl to global superstar with the troubles, triumphs, and all up until her death in 2012 at age 48.